Node 23, which is an experimental version of Node, has come in and absolutely changed the game and gotten rid of one of the worst errors that you could possibly see as a Node developer. Node 23 is an experimental version, but still this indicates in the future the direction they're going. I'm going to show you what that error was and the way that it completely goes away. So let's dive in. I've got two files in this directory. I've got an index.cts and a utils.mts. I'm using TypeScript, of course, and MTS is the equivalent of MJS in JavaScript, and CTS is the equivalent of CJS in JavaScript. These file extensions are a hint to know that in this file, the CTS file, I'm going to use require, and in this file, I'm going to use import and export. If we head back to index.cts, we can see that we're importing from utils.mts, creating a temporary directory, and then console logging it out. Let's try to run this code. First, I'm going to just check what version I'm on. I'm on version 22, the old one. Now I'm going to run node experimental strip types index.cts. This basically lets us run TypeScript in node. But when I run this, I'm going to get a pretty gnarly error here. Require of ES module is not supported. This is the crux of it. JavaScript has two separate module systems, CJS and ESM. ESM can import CJS. So anyone using ESM, sure, you can import some CJS. That's absolutely fine. But people who are using the old style CJS, you can't import ESM directly. So there's this inequality between the two systems. ESM, you can use everything and you're fine. CJS can only import CJS. One way we could get this working is we could wrap our code inside a function here, an async function, and that would allow us to use an await import. This is the only legal way that you can get ESM into CJS. JS is by using this await. And if we try to run this code now, it will actually work. But this is a massive pain. It's a huge refactor to take synchronous code that was previously just working and have to wrap everything in async because async await is viral. It spreads through your application. So ideally, this would just work. And guess what? If I call nvm use 23, now using node 23, and I run this again, it works. So what I was saying before that ESM gets everything and CGS gets nothing. Now, ESM gets everything and CGS gets everything. You can just import mutually between them. But there is a catch though. If we go to utils.mts, and I'm just going to unawait this here. If we use top level await in here and try to run the code again, then we're going to get an error instead. Require cannot be used on an ESM graph with top level await. So this is the killer actually. The top level await is the thing that people were scared of when we had this CGS ESM thing. But they figured out that you can actually just, okay, just pretend this is sync here and scan the resulting code inside for any asyncs and awaits in the wrong places. And if they aren't any, just import it anyway. And by the way, you can get this working on node 22 as well. If we comment out this, I'm going to nvm use 22. Now I can add a flag into my call here saying experimental require module, this little doobie right here. This means now when I run this code, it will just work. So it takes the behavior that's in 22 23 right now, puts it under an experimental flag in 22. And that's the right conclusion to draw from this, that this stuff is still experimental. If you don't know, the odd numbered versions in Node is where they add in a few more experimental bits and pieces. The even numbers is where they really clamp down on stability, make sure everything is set up, make sure the bugs are all good. But they have these funny sort of switches where you can opt into a bit more experimental behavior by switching to an odd numbered version, which is pretty funky actually now I come to think about it. I don't think there's any other package that I know or tool that does that. But anyway, if you enjoyed this, then there'll be tons of other videos floating around on a floating head somewhere. I found Joy Chung's uh, article on this. This is the person who actually made this change. Really, really insightful because obviously Bun was doing this a bit before, but Joy like kind of reached her conclusion independently of Bun and kind of implemented it herself. And she's the one with the backing of Bloomberg that's been um, pushing this like really, really hard. So Joy is absolutely amazing. So click on any of these videos, click on my head to subscribe, and I will see you very soon.